Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Stormworks. With this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can build a simple door circuit that allows you to open and close doors from both sides. And especially in career, you don't always have the required parts for this. So, you have a door, and it could be either the, um, let's say, the wide version of the door, which is a sliding door, or the standard hinge door. At the moment, I have them set up to the toggle button, so that's the standard toggle button. And this is lovely because I can open the door from the outside, but from the inside, I can't very well close it. And that's quite inconvenient, because you'd have to go to the outside of the boat, close it, and that sort of defeats the purpose of a door. So let's return this to the workbench, and show you what the other option is. Now the other option is this one. This is the two-sided toggle button. It's a beautiful, elegant solution but it's not a block that you're going to have unlocked early in the campaign, or at least for me it wasn't. Now, to show you what this does, I can add these to the door, so the standard toggle buttons are now no longer functional. I can spawn it back in, and now I can use the two-sided toggle button to open the door, pass through it, hit the toggle again, and close it. Perfect. Very elegant, but as I mentioned, not always something that is available to you. So, let's say that you only have the standard toggle buttons. What do you do then? Well, in that case, you're going to have to build a small circuit. First, I'm going to set up the toggle buttons on each side of the door. So, one pointing outwards, one pointing inwards. I'm currently in advanced mode, so make sure that you are hooking stuff up to power, as it will require it. Now. What you can do is try to hook up one toggle button to the door, but if you also try to add the other one, the other one just defaults. The other one connection gets severed. What you need to do in order to fix this is add a logic circuit to it. So we're going to go ahead into the logic department down here, and uh, I'm on version 5.21 before I forget to mention that, so by the time that you're watching this, it could be vastly different. What you need to do is look for the OR switch. Now, there is a significant difference between the OR or the XOR. Let me show you what the OR switch does, and this is in fact not the one that you want to be using. The OR switch takes two inputs, A or B, and then it outputs the A or B. The output is going to go to the door. The input from one side of the door goes to A, and from the other side of the door goes to B. Again. We might need to hook this up to power, but since it's just a toggle switch, it doesn't need that. Always check, though, because that's, well, one of the things that frequently go wrong. Now, here's my problem. I can hit this button, and I can hit that button, and it won't close. That's because this system works on an OR, which means that OR option A is on, OR option B is on. Whichever is on, I'm going to send an ON signal to this door which means that I'm going to send a signal which says, yep, you need to open the door. That's not what we need. What we need is an XOR. I'm going to delete that. The XOR, the output will be switched on if only one of the signals are on. The output will be switched off if two of the signals are on at the same time. So what you can do is have another one of these circuits. Again, the output goes to the door. One of the inputs goes to input A, the second one goes to input B. Now I can spawn it in, walk over to my platform, open the door, go through it, and close the door. And that is all that you need to do. It is really that easy. You need one of these XOR circuits. And once you have those, and you don't have the two-sided toggle button yet, because that's where the fun begins, if you don't have one of those yet, this is a way for you to open a door from one side and close it on the other. Now, yes, the toggle buttons will both be enabled. Um, this is a small, a small inconvenience, but other than that, it doesn't really matter, because at least you can close your door behind you when you actually get aboard your vehicle. Now, the same thing can, of course, be done for this door. So we set up the XOR system. We have the two toggle buttons already set up. One goes to the A input, one goes to the B input, and the AB goes to the open and close door. Move to the platform. 
open the door, go through it, and close the door, and you're all done. That's how easy this is. You need the X or systems. Now, initially, the whole logic system, the whole logic uh, inventory can be quite overwhelming. So if that is overwhelming for you, just take it one bit at a time. Start experimenting with the X or systems and try to figure out where else you can have these. Because let's say you have two pilot seats, you can use an X or to have two toggle switches for your engines to turn them on or off. Or you can have two switches for your spotlight to turn those on and off. Start experimenting with the X or and don't just limit yourself to the door because they can be applied to anything. Anyway, hope this was helpful to you. I'll be doing more of these tutorials and there will be a separate playlist in the future. So if you have any specific questions about this or a request for another tutorial, be sure to leave it in the comments down below and I'll happily get to work for you. Thank you and good luck building your creations in Stormworks.